Hello, I'm gonna try to make a YouTube video every day for seven days. Which is like a lot to ask of me. Um, I just had a huge tax bill because I thought I had found some loophole for health insurance where I was on this like, when I lived in California, I was on this uh, poor people health insurance where they charge you like $30 a month um, for health insurance. Uh, but if you make too much money, which I was making too much money before, they, they just charge you like a bill of like $1,200 at the end of the year. So it's actually a really good deal. You get health insurance, but you only have to pay $1,200 plus $30 a month. But then this time, I guess if you make 400% of the uh, poverty line, then they charge you the full year maximum of what the insurance cost, which was like $440 a month. Uh, so I had to pay like 5,000 extra dollars on my taxes, which really sucked. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try to make this is I'm going to try to actually make money on my YouTube. Now I usually make between 25 and $50 per video. So I think I will have to make. Shit, a lot of videos. I'll have to make at least a hundred videos to pay for my tax bill. If they all uh, make $50, which they won't. It wouldn't pay for my tax bill. It would just pay for the health insurance portion of the tax bill. The full tax bill is $23,000. Uh, right now, I'm just going to show you. Um, I've got a lot of stuff to ship out. I sold like 90 items this weekend because I did a clearance on the oldest items in my store. Um, I'm just going to show you like five of the best ones or five ones that are interesting because I can't be filming. I got to, I had to work. All right, here's our first good item. This polo shirt by the company WAAC or WAC. Um, sold for $45 plus shipping in used condition. I've had this listed for like six months maybe. So it took a, a long time. There's not a huge sales history of this on eBay, but I believe it's a Korean company. I think this was like made in Korea or something. Oh, and WAAC stands for win at all costs. So, uh, here's another good one. Uh, this is a cool shirt, but it is made out of a flannel fabric. It's called the Dillinger Flannel. It sold for $34 plus shipping, which is pretty good for a cool shirt. Because if you've been selling cool for a couple years, you know their shirts are usually not that great. But usually, if you are able to find a style code on the shirt, it's going to bump up the price um, and how quickly it sells. So, cool, still good. $34 for a shirt is good. All right, here's another good one. It's The company is called Wool and Prince. They make... I think all their clothing out of wool. It's super high sell through rate. This shirt only sold for $14 because it was, had fuzzy wear all over it and it was a, a large that was shrunken to the size of a small. Still, it sold in like maybe a month for $14. If it hadn't been shrunken, it'd probably be more like a $40 item uh, that would sell even faster. So, wool and prints, that's what your tag looks like right there. It's just a black button-up shirt made out of wool. These right here are MCCUU pants. They're a type of military pants used by the Marines. They're just like cargo. They're this digital camo pattern. This is the Desert Marpat, which stands for uh, Desert Marine Pattern Camouflage. And then MCCUU stands for Marine Combat... Marine Corps Combat Utility Uniform. That's what MCCUU stands for. But if you find the pairs that are green, the Woodland Marpat, those have a super high sell through rate. I think it's like 200%. I could be wrong. Um, for the pants and then for the blouses, which is what they call the shirts, um, those are good as well. 
for the green ones. So it's like this pattern, but green and brown. But this is just a, this is like a $25 item. The uh, Woodland ones are like a $35 item because of the pattern. Okay, here's another good one. These are women's golf pants by the company Macade. Macade, M-A-C-A-D-E. These are like kind of like a jogger. Uh, I'm not gonna pop up any pictures on this video because it takes hours. But they're like a stretchy jogger. These ones sell for $27 with a stain on the knee, like a kind of a larger stain. Uh, the men's ones look like they go for like 45 bucks. Massade or Macade. High sell through rate. I apologize for the noise. I'm doing a load of laundry next door. Um, here's two great military items. These are called the Extreme Cold Wet Weather Trousers. Extreme, I can't really read backwards. Trousers, extreme cold weather, cold wet weather. The cold wet weather and the um, just plain cold weather are really great. Like the uh, extreme cold weather parka is like this giant big kind of creamy green color jacket. Um, the uh, extreme cold wet weather is a more like lightweight, Almost like a windbreaker, like a ripstop windbreaker parka. A parka, I think the definition of a parka is a longer jacket with a hood. Um, yeah, these are two great items. The jacket sells for like around a hundred bucks. I think the pants sell for around the same thing. Um, it's really not worth selling it as a set, but in this case, I think I'm going to sell it as a set. Probably list it for like well, there's actually a hole on the leg. So I'll probably just sell it for like 150, maybe see this like a rip hole. So I guess the rip stop didn't really do its job. Sorry, the laundry machine's quite loud, but uh, yeah. And this pattern is called OCP. I think it stands for like operational camo pattern. Uh, it looks very similar to um, multicam. And multicam is like the most popular camo pattern. But uh, multicam has more like vertical lines in it. But if you see this pattern of camouflage, unless it's like on one of the insect repellent um, combat shirts or blouses, it's usually good. Especially like if it's outerwear, pants. But any of the ones that say, if you look at the in inner tags and it says like insect repellent, those ones kind of suck. Yeah, but these are two good items. If I could do my whole store just uh, military surplus and vintage Levi's, that would be super cool. I'm gonna hit a bunch of savers. I'm at savers right now. Uh, let's try to get a bunch of cheap, hopefully good stuff. Cause it's half off day. All right, that was stupid. Uh, I found an Allen Flusser Paisley button up in a size 2XL. Those have over 100% sell through rate, but it's probably like a $20, $25 item. Then we have a Salt Valley Western shirt, a Pearl Snap, and a Men's Large. This one's kind of like a seersucker, though, which might help the value um, and the speed with which it sells. Uh, but it only has about a 50% sell through rate, which means it'll take about six months to sell. Whereas the uh, Allen Flusser will take under three months. All right, I'm at the next spot. Oh shit. I gotta lock my car up. Now it is. Cause the Kia boys. All right, this uh, last store is a little better. Got a Polar off Loren, denim slash chambray, button up long sleeve 2XL for eight bucks or 750. And we got a Tommy Bahama, it's called the San Lucia Stretch. Uh, in a size large, it's like almost 200% sell through rate on those shirts. Size 35 work right FR pants. Um, I think it was like 60% sell through, something like that. Not that great, like 20 bucks. 
and then a pair of 505s and a 3132. That's about an 80% sell through rate. Paid eight bucks on those. I think it's like two, like 215 uh, sold, 246 listed or something like that. Yeah, nothing too great. The best item so far, speed wise, was the Tommy Bahama shirt, but it does have some like dust stains on it that I had to, I had to spray and wash it, so that's annoying. And then the uh, Polar Off Lorraine shirt, that's just all around good. I don't know the sell through rate on it, but it's probably like 45 bucks. All right, I'm hitting a hood wheel because I have to pee. Uh, I avoid this one because I don't want to get my car stolen. And this is like the shittiest place on earth. And they have the shittiest inventory on earth. But I'm going to pee and I'm going to look what's on the racks. And hopefully there's something good. Excuse me, sir. It's right next to an aquarium. It's on South Maryland Parkway. You can have this one. Uh... I don't come here very often. Sorry about the angle here, but uh, I just found two items in there. A Zinnia Sport button up. I don't know the sell through rate on them, but I buy everything Zinnia. Um, then we had some Buckle BKE uh, Jake jeans. Over 100% sell through rate across the board. Um, it's like 1,200 listed, 1,700 sold. Just if you just type in buck BKE Jake jeans. I don't know about the individual size, but uh, they will be fine. I had a uh, tweaker try to sell me an Apple Watch. He was like, yeah, you got an iPhone? And I was like, nope. And then he was like, uh, I got to sell this Apple Watch. I hate Apple products. I was like, eh. And then uh, I had another guy just grab my cart and start pushing it away from me. Uh, I was like, hey. So that was fun. Anyways, I'm out of here. Next thrift store. Uh, found a couple things in the savers here. Uh, I got a pair of Made in USA 501s in a good size. 33, 32. All the tags on the interior are removed, including... Oh, no. There we go. All right, they're from 98. As you can see right there. Uh, I caught a guy checking door handles in this parking lot last week. Checking doors, you know, to steal shit. And he was wearing black rubber gloves. And then I was staring at him. I was kind of like giving him the eye like, I see you. And then he comes over and starts yelling at me. It's like, dude, it's super obvious what you're doing. And you're wearing black rubber gloves. Uh, he was trying to say that I was racist, but, you know, the line between a good Samaritan and a Karen is very thin. Oh, sorry, I forgot to talk about it. Those are just some shitty diesel jeans. All this shit's half off. Mizzen and Maine, this is barely, like, not even good anymore. Uh, barely good anymore. Like a 60% sell through rate on that size and style. Uh, so we got the vintage Levi's, we got the uh, diesel, which I pretty much buy all of them. And then we got a, uh, just an FR shirt from Tendale. This is probably the worst item of the day, honestly. I didn't look it up, but it's probably like 18 bucks. I'll get for that. Uh, all right, just left the best store of the day. I only got eight items. One of them is really cool. Uh, we got some 501s black and 3032. Everything's half off, so those were like nine bucks. Some 501s, not in a great, actually pretty long inseam, 38, 36. Um, but these are white oak denim ones. Sometimes you'll find these ones and they'll be salvage as well. Those are pretty good. Um, there was another reseller in there who was just grabbing all the freaking Levi's and I was super pissed and I was kind of just behind him the whole time. But, uh, yeah, that's what you get when you come super late. But I still got some good stuff. Got these uh, 511, or no, sorry, uh, Under Armour Tactical Pants, the Ripstop. I forgot the exact style name on them, but they're pretty good. We have an REI Sahara shirt. It's one of these, like, vintage outdoor camp shirts. 
like a nylon blend. Those are a summer staple. We have an uh, ASR V shirt. It's an athletic brand that is pretty darn good. This was like 525 or something like that. It's the brand that uh, Barstool Sports prints a lot of their merch on. Just a cat camo hoodie, probably 20 bucks on that. Um, this was the best item of the day. It is a vintage Patagonia fleece. I think like circa 1980s. Now this is, it was only priced at 9.99 and a half off of that. But I think the store thought it was fake and their conscience made them price it cheaper. But cause look, the stitching is kind of wonky. Um, it just looks kind of cheap. And I saw it and I immediately knew. I've seen that fleece before on uh, vintage Instagram pages. It's got the contrast uh, cuff and waistband. Unfortunately, the tag is cut out of the neck, uh, which is another sketchy thing about it. But on the inside, we have super old material style tag made in usa and it's got the style number the cut number on there yeah it's just really nice i'm really happy about it so probably just be keeping this one and it's like a freaking size xl it's big which is awesome for super old clothing i think it's probably like if i just had to guess like mid eighties. I, I messaged a guy while I was in there who, um, on eBay who has the same one in his store and all he sells is vintage Patagonia. He has it for 200. I asked him if he knows the decade on it. Just a uh, Levi's Pearl Snap shirt. I don't know why the Levi's guys didn't grab that. But yeah, that was me going after everybody. The Patagonia is Real good, because a lot of times on the really old stuff, like that shit is like made in a garage, you know? So it looks cheap, but I don't think it's a 70s. It was a seven, there's these fleece out ones. It's a, uh, I think it's called reverse pile where the, where, uh, I'm sorry, it's not fleece out. The fleece, like, you know, on the modern, shut up. Uh, the modern Patagonia, the fleece is like out, and then that ugly part's on the inside. On these ones, the ugly part's on the outside, and the like Sherpa fleece is on the inside. And those, that's what I really, really want to find. Um, yeah. Anyways, on to the next store. I might film or I might not. I got it. All right, last store was super weak. Let's go like this Under Armour. Kind of like quilted insulated vest for golf, seven bucks, 10 bucks. We got a pair of 505s. Oh, I thought they were 3232. They're 3230. They're black. So they'll go for like 28 bucks maybe. And that is uh, all we got for today. I will see you tomorrow.